If you choose to openly carry a firearm, it must be in a high quality active retention holster. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. It's a doozy and it's out of Detroit, Michigan. Now more than ever, you need trusted coverage to help you win the fight after the fight. The company I trust and recommend is Firearms Legal Protection. They offer discounts on all their plans at the link in the description. I recommend the premium plan. Guy who is standing uh, in the black next to us, you can just see in his pocket, he actually has a firearm in his pocket that the grip of the firearm is sticking out. And watch the guy in the red hoodie who is going to walk by and see that and decide, oh, hey, free gun, and just grab it right out of his pocket. Now, they go off camera, we can't see what happens. Dude is gonna come back and he is gonna have a big old stendo in that gun, like maybe he had one himself. And then they just grab his gun and they run off. Now, we're gonna go back and see that from a little bit closer angle after the guy's just kinda, what am I gonna do? Notice the gun there is down in his pocket and he's just gonna grab it and run off to the back of the store. Now, if you go read the news stories that I have linked in the description, eventually they did catch this perp and they arrested him on an unrelated incident that he was involved in. But we've got some lessons to learn from this one. So let's think about them. Holy cow, what a mess. Go over to Active Self Protection Extra, our second YouTube channel, and subscribe over there if you would. We do gear reviews over there all the time. We talk about quality holsters and not quality holsters. We've put several of those reviews out. And please, go over there to get some information about that stuff. There's a link in the description. First and biggest lesson out of this one, 100%, is that if you're gonna openly carry a firearm, it needs to be carried in a quality holster, and it needs to have active retention. If you're gonna actively, openly carry a firearm and show the world that you have a firearm, it needs to have active retention. And I do not recommend the Blackhawk Serpa for that. Probably the number one one that I recommend for it is a Safari Land. ALS. I have zero relationship with Safari Land. It's just the best one that's out there. But otherwise, conceal the gun because if it gets seen by the bad guy, stuff like this goes down and you don't want that to happen. So next thing you want to see is this is actually kind of one of the disadvantages of strong side carry. So I get it. You know, you don't have pockets in front, but but you know whether it's in his pocket or on his waist, if if it's on his side, the bad guy actually has access to it from behind you and before the, our, our victim ever got to see what's going on, this got yanked. I don't mind if you wanna carry strong side, that's totally okay and that's a perfectly legitimate, acceptable choice. But just understand that usually when the gun is up front, you don't lose sight of it as much and a bad guy can't generally grab it where you cannot see him. So that is an advantage to a front carry or a front of the hip carry, what's normally called appendix carry. Again, I don't, carry, I don't care how you carry, I just want you to, to know the strengths and, and the, the weaknesses of each one. Now then, our dude's like, uh, what am I gonna do in this instance? And, and now your gun's been taken away from you. What are you gonna do? Probably nothing, especially because dude is pointing a gun at your face. We now have somebody who has stolen a gun off your person, apparently put an extended magazine in it that I don't know if it fit or not, but and then is pointing it at your face. Dude's pointing a gun at you. You know if that gun's loaded. You know if that gun's got quality ammunition in it. Are you willing to do something about that? I think the answer to that is at that point, you got to just give him what he wants because you don't even have a firearm in, in order to defend yourself. I know somebody's going to say, but what if you had a backup firearm? Well, then you're, you're in crazy overkill land. And can you get to that backup firearm is the next question and get to it faster than he could press a trigger on you. So I think letting him go in that instance is probably the right case, but don't just stand there. You notice he's just kind of standing there. Next thing here, again, pay attention in your world. Notice that he walks in and our victim is, is paying attention to what's in front of him, but not seeing what's going on around him. At least that's not what it looks like. I'm not the one who fuzzed out uh, his identity or whatever, but it doesn't look like he even glances at this guy. And when you are carrying a firearm, particularly when you're carrying a firearm openly, it, if you're paying attention to your world, you'll tend to blade off from, from unknown contacts and not give them access to your firearm. So pay attention to your world, pretty please, because otherwise bad stuff like this goes down. Now, next thing that I wanna see here is you notice that our, our perp actually puts his forearm on the victim's body. So he is gonna forcefully push him off. And, and so you're really not gonna have any opportunity to defend that gun grab. The other part of this is that I, I'm almost positive it was in his pocket. It's very small possibility that he was in one of those floppy nylon holsters. So please hear me. If you've got one of those floppy Uncle Mike nylon holsters, please get rid of that. It's not enough to hold the gun if that's what he was carrying in here. And this is why a quality Kydex retention holster or a, a snap over leather holster, something good like that is what's required to maintain your firearm. Thankfully, nobody was harmed in this one. Thankfully, they caught this guy. I don't know if the owner of the gun got his gun back or not. And uh, the big thing here, 
If you're gonna openly carry retention holster, pretty please, and not a Blackhawk Serpa because those are garbage and I've seen them ripped off people in training a hundred times. But a good quality retention holster, pay attention in your world so that crap like this doesn't happen to you as you carry a firearm.